Praise the Lord. Somebody just wave your hands to heaven. Hallelujah. As we all know, our father is a philanthropist. He's a man set aside by God, giving the mandate to alleviate people from suffering. We saw him all through the pandemic. He was massively giving back to society. Both those in Ekboma, those in Uromi, those in neighboring village around, they all benefited from our father. So that is why we have our visitors who are here. They came from nine news from Port Harcourt. Please give Jesus praise. <laughs> Hallelujah. They came from nine news in Port Harcourt. They are here today to give our father something. I won't be unveiling what is in the bag yet. They will be the ones to say it because we all know what our father is known for. So if the press team are here, international press team per se, they are here. That's to tell you our father has indeed gone far. Somebody give Jesus praise as we hear what they have to say. Okay. Well, I don't even know why they are here. So I want to hear from them first. Amen. Because he shall say you need to hear from the horse's mouth. Now me so. Are you hearing me? So God bless you. Thank you. Tell her why we are here. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Standing before you is Abbasando Imales David Ashinku. By special grace of God, they corresponded, the nine news corresponded in charge of South South in Nigeria. I am here with my crew member. We are here to honor your father. For the past nine months, we have been investigating your father. For the past nine months, we have been trying to know who really your father is. For the past nine months, we always follow his service life every day. Till this month, we draw the court into conclusion. From all our investigation, your father merited an award. Prophet Joseph Ejemeye is not just a human being but an angel. The thing God talk about is love. He said love is the greatest. From all our investigation we have gotten over 200 persons on social media who testify of the impact of your father. We got over 30 persons who said your father sponsored their education from year one to final year level. Today, is set aside for nine news Nigeria to come at the nation and the world at large. The senior prophet Joseph is a man that is sent to the nation Nigeria. From all investigation, Nine News Nigeria, we are more into investigative. We always investigate before we do our publish. We are here to tell Nigeria as a whole and the world at large that in the land of Ekwoma Edo State, there is a man who has touched lives. I 
think a few weeks ago, I watched a live broadcast where a woman that delivered seven months. A seven month child from what we saw on the screen. If not for God, that baby cannot be alive. Hello, sir. You have done what generation past never do. On behalf of Nine News Nigeria, sir, the sky will be your starting point. He has touched life when it comes to human capital development. He has rendered service to humanity. What a man. If Nigeria and the world at large does not know this man, meaning something is missing. I am here to tell all the sons and daughters of this ministry Your father has done well. From all investigation, we never heard that your papa slept with somebody's wife. From all investigation, we never heard that they caught your papa with sham in the church. For all investigation, no issue attached to kidnapping has come to your papa. Shush, with due respect and all protocols observe, please rise on your feet for your papa. prophet because ever since last night I slept under your lodge I see the power of God I am overwhelmed with joy from what I've been seeing in distance I came today I see with my eyes and there is a saying that says behind every successful man there must be a woman I will call my colleague. He will be the one to present you the award. <laughs> Sir, since Nine News Nigeria is concerned, we promise you to take you around the world. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. Please, I want to stand on the system protocol. Before them, for the sake of the record and the, and the video men, please. 
Can you please go back and have your seat? Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to make it very snappy. My reporter has actually said everything. We have not met before. I don't even know you. But through our investigation, we have known your name, but we don't know you in person. We went through all those while coming here yesterday. We're almost at uh, the boundary between River State and Demo State. And uh, we met um, Army section. They refused us to pass through the boundary. We have to turn back again, follow Elele to Ahoda Bayasa to here. So you can see how stressful we came in yesterday. We arrived here about 10 p.m. there about, and one of your aides, your boy, brought us to the hotel. And uh, we are pleased, all things being equal, for a safe journey yesterday. Senior Prophet Joseph A.J. Meje, all for his great ministry worldwide. The church founded on the 30th of October 2011. Located here in the Edo state of Nigeria. And beside him, his beautiful wife, Pastor Mrs. Blessing, Joseph Ejemeye. We are here this day, having seen your numerous humanitarian activities throughout our nine months of investigation about you. We are not here to make flappy words to, play, to, to please the world, but want to give you what you merited. You are a practical preacher. A preacher who preach with practical. When we are keenly seated here, we watch how energetic you are. When you have a young pastor, that's what you enjoy. I see him jumping from here and there, and that energizes my spirit. Please have applause for him. <laughs> Let me not go more further. Let me look at what I'm praising you. But we are here live and we follow all your program. We love your preaching. You are, more, you are more of a practical man of God. Some men, you see them, they preach, but they don't practice what they preach. Jesus practiced what he preached. The Bible recorded that he was moved with passion. Of all the medical signs and wonders he did, he was moved with passion. It was a practical preaching Jesus did. And that is obligated in the life of your pastor here this day. Please, I beg the congregation. May you please give your pastor a stand ovation while I read the award for him. Everybody be on your feet. Everybody respect your man of God. Is your daddy, is our daddy here today? Everybody stand on your feet. Sir, from Nine News Nigeria, a correspondent from Italy, Australia, Lagos, and precisely the one in River State, Port Harcourt. We we'll present to you an award of Good Governance Award presented to Senior Prophet Joseph Ejemeye for your selfless service to humanity in acknowledgement of your remarkable achievement as a Christ ambassador and selfish service to humanity. We we'll present to you this award this day, 25th day of October 2020, for having seen all your good work the programs you run, your free services, your scholarship scheme, the one that just happened here today, you gave a man of God a car. And not just that, you even promised to change the car engine for him. Sir, with all days so far, that Nine News Nigeria are happy to present an award to you this day and encourage you that you should continue to do your good so that the last day will be happy to see you all seated in the throne of God. Thank you, and God bless you as I present this award to him. Please, you keep, you keep clapping, 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 Thank you, sir. God bless you.
praise God. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Well, it's a surprise. Just the same way it's a surprise to you. That is the way it's a surprise to me. And on behalf of my wife, my entire member, and my spiritual father, on behalf of all for his grace ministry, Mercy City, on behalf of my able partner, senior, diamond, gold, junior, all the partners together, I said I really appreciate for standing by me to get this award today. I know this is earthly award, and the bigger award is in heaven. So I appreciate all my members that have been there for me. And may God reward you, reward your children, reward you whatever you do. And whatever you do shall prosper. Also pray for the media, the nine news, Nigeria. I pray for all the media. I pray for them. They will succeed. And God will guide them. They will not be accused. They will not fall. In the name of Jesus, they will not weak. They will not faint. They will get there in Jesus' name. All together, we say a big amen. A hand of a hand of a prayer for the King of Kings. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. My Father. Yeah. The prophetic oracle. Oh, the Holy God defend excavator. Oh, yeah. Yeah.